So in this episode, I'm going to get into one of my Google Drive folders more in detail, my kids folder. So let's get going. So this is my Google Drive as it currently stands. Here is my folder for kids, which I made this channel primarily for my friends, although I'm happy, obviously, for so many people to watch it. But I want um, to help my friends and myself, too, keep working on organizing my kids' stuff more, specifically what comes home from school. And I also um, will talk about some other things related to that in a bit. If we go into my kids' folder, we see I have their school district folder, which is general. Right now, only one daughter is in kindergarten there. And then there's the uh, artwork folder, and then each child has a folder. Now, the artwork folder I have separate rather than in each kid's folder because that's a folder that I go to a lot, and I'm finding it to be helpful to have that separated out. If you look in the artwork work folder, you can see that I have, again, each child has a folder. If we go into it, I can pull up some of the, the additional folders uh, with separated things out, for example, by church, school, camps, and you can see examples of the artwork and the quality there, and, and the quality is overall very good. And I have made Shutterfly books that include some of this artwork, and the quality is good. And I've had friends say that they have printed out their kids' artwork, and it turns out well. So I find it to be helpful to have everything here rather than using a separate drive, a separate um, app or drive for just the artwork. I like having everything in my Google Drive. Here you can see the folder, the main folder for my daughter, Claire, who is six years old, ending kindergarten soon. She has a couple activities she's been involved in besides school. As you can see, there's a school folder here within her folder. There's an Awana folder for her kids club at, at church, a uh, birthday folder that will include uh, cards she got for her birthday, her birthday list, uh, the card section, a cards folder, is for just general cards that she gets from friends. Um, gymnastics was when she was doing gymnastics. Important, in important, I put copies of her birth certificate, social security card, etc. Then Sunday school is another folder. So you can see just examples of the types of folders I have here and we'll go into the school folder. So this is the school folder for this past year for my daughter Claire who has been in kindergarten. She gets so many papers. She gets like five papers that come home a day in addition to things that are emailed. And if there are attachments and emails, I generally save them here. You can see there's different folders by month, uh, different papers that have come home. There's a specific homework folder, um, newsletters that the teacher sends actually electronically. I save those here. Orientation info, just general kindergarten orientation info. And then her report cards. I don't keep all of the physical report cards. I just scan them and I put them here. I also have the class list with all the contact information for the parents. And I have had different forms that have been sent home that they wanted to have signed. And I have electronically signed those in my preview software on my Apple computer. Emailed them, had no problem with that. And I just store everything related to school that I can in this folder. It's been a great big help. Okay, so I just gave you a brief overview of the Google Drive and specifically related to my kids and what I store on the Google Drive for them. That's made my life so much easier. 